Uh, he was like 16 or so, maybe. <laughs> so I walk up the register to order your coffee and I say, one coffee, please. He just froze up. He didn't know how to work oh. the register. So the manager comes screaming over, yelling at him. And he says, do it like this. Go make the coffee. So <laughs> he, uh, the kid goes to pour the coffee and he's nervous as hell. And he spills the coffee all over himself. Bam, bam, it falls on the floor, it falls on everything. So the manager hits the roof and storms off. And <laughs> I look at the kid, coffee all over him, and I ask him, is this your first day? And he says, yeah. You think it's too early to ask for a raise? Oh, poor kid. <laughs> I'll help you up the steps, huh? So loud, it's liable to come true. Oh, another year sexier. <laughs> All right, I'm about to get so effing drunk right now. Watch out. Thanks, Henry. Oh, happy birthday, honey. Mm. Happy birthday, Patricia. Hey, hey. <laughs> this is wonderful. Yeah, happy hey, birthday. Brianna. You look beautiful. So do you, <laughs> you beautiful yeah. woman. Cocktails. Okay, <laughs> go get yeah. cocktails. <gasps> Julian. You are getting older and older. Me? <laughs> Look at you. Julian, my friend. Patricia. What a surprise this is. Come on, you bastards. Let's get this party started. Okay, I'm ready. I have plans for all of these fine beverages. Better stick to the wine, Chris. Oh, come on, Henry. Every time we crack out the liqueurs, I find a new place in the house to throw up. <laughs> oh, it's very exciting. Oh, I know, we should make a checklist. There, there's the, the living room, the, the kitchen, the hallway. Oh man, gross. Must be so hard to clean up. You notice. Never in the toilet. Mm, I did it in the shower that one time. Still not the toilet. I wasn't even taking a shower. <laughs> <laughs> so it's that kind of party, huh? Yeah, we better catch up to you then, Chris. No mixing of drinks, young man. I remember a time when you used to mix quite a few drinks there, Henry. Mm. We don't talk about that. Yeah, even a few drinks at work, too. Oh, we, we definitely don't talk about that. This reminds me of a story. No, 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 no. Yes. Yes! I say it should happen. Well, this is her birthday after all. We gotta give the woman what she wants. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. all right. So this one time, Henry and I are fixing the plumbing in this small house. Uh oh man, not this one, please. Oh yeah. <laughs> so we are fixing the plumbing, and we got this uh, really, really nice, homeowner, you know, very friendly. <laughs> this guy, this guy is just screaming at us nonstop about this and that at the top of his lungs. So Henry got so frustrated that he started sneaking some alcohol in this little flask to the job. <laughs> One day, you know, I'm looking through the toolbox, I find the flask. I'm like amazed. And I figured I should take a couple sips, right? 
what could go wrong? <laughs> I, you know, I'm so fed up, young and stupid. I hadn't had anything to eat that day. So a couple sips in, and I am drunk off my ass. I mean, I, I, just, I mess up somewhere, and the connection is wrong. And then next thing I know, suddenly this pipe is, starts spraying everywhere. And Henry comes rushing back in, and I am so gone that I am sprawled out on the floor in a pool of water, just drunk off my ass. I had a hard time explaining that one. <laughs> Oh, man, those are the days. Uh, for you, maybe, not for me. Such a pain in the ass. Yeah, it was. Prior to my accident, I would have stood to say something like this. I just want to thank all of you for being here. Yeah. It means the world to Henry and me. And I know these are very tricky times, but you came. We're all here. So let's have a good time. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It was our pleasure. We must not let anything prevent us from celebrating the thing that truly matters. That's right. No matter who we're carpet bombing overseas or how many major national security threats come up on a given day, oh. we, we must go on. <laughs> now, now, wait a second. You're telling me you believe we should let those bastards get away with it? I didn't say that. Well, what are you saying? You know what? We should probably steer away from that topic. No, nothing's wrong with a little discussion, right? How else, how else would we progress? You're saying we shouldn't have bombed in the Middle East? Yes. <sighs> you know, they set off a rogue nuclear weapon in Los Angeles, and you're saying we shouldn't retaliate. How can you argue that when so many people died? And, and not, to, not to mention the people that were critically injured and not a hospital around to help. I was saying that... They managed to cause mass panic in this country in just one move, destabilizing the government and the economy. That's it. We can't back down now. A rogue nuclear weapon delivered in a van. Rogue is the important word there. How can they truly say that the country we bombed in retaliation was harboring those terrorists? Intelligence. Yeah, that's what there's a, a lack of in the government right now, a severe lack of intelligence. So we got even? No, not even. We got deeper, much deeper. They did it to us first. They, they did it to us. We didn't settle the score. We just raised the stakes. All right, seven days ago, the, the rogue weapon, the rogue nuke, the L.A. bomb. Three days later, we're bombing the Middle East. Now, and yesterday and today, the allies of our enemy are rallying fiercely. We are slowly building towards something that could go nuclear and global. It won't happen. Nuclear stability is fragile. With all due respect, Julian, but to say that we're on this track right now, isn't that taking us too far? You don't think these leaders could bring us right there tomorrow? It's tough talk. Really tough talk. What's wrong with America having its own agenda? I mean, shouldn't we strive to make our country greater than the rest if they want to wipe us out? Blind loyalty is exactly what these leaders want. H how is my loyalty blind? The strength we show will scare them off and it will bind us all together. Strength enough to bomb and kill innocent people is not strength at all. It's weakness. Strength would be responding to this terrorism without political convulsions, without threats and lies and more bombs. Where will it all end then? No, they'll just go on and on until every last one of us is dead. Not if we kill those bastards first. We could make better choices. We could save more lives. We could make the whole thing cost so much less. How could we do that? Was not this bomb of theirs itself a retaliation? Cruel, vile, disgusting people were responsible for that bomb, yes. But if we allow ourselves to be that vile, then they win. We are no better than they are. 
Isn't that what they want to prove? So, negotiate with terrorists. I didn't say negotiate. I am just saying that our leaders must first ask themselves how far they're willing to go before the point becomes lost, before we become lost. Especially if nuclear weapons are involved. I think we should drop this conversation and try to have a good time. Don't you think we should try to have a good time, even for a few minutes, and not think about this? Well, I say hell yeah. I mean, it's not like we're running the country anyway, right? Chris, come on, grab some more wine. And some music? That's how you got here? Yeah, basically. Wow. I've known you for such a long time, Chris. I guess I never just got you drunk enough to hear the full story. No. That's not really the full story. No? So look, you know I, I didn't have much growing up as a kid. I. I I also didn't go to school. I didn't have any, any real home life. No love in mom or dad, or anything like that, you know? So we don't, we don't have to go into it too much. No, no. It's all right. Okay. So when I, I met Henry, what, like uh, four years ago now? I was in a really bad way. Yeah, he, he kind of said. I don't think he even really knew how bad I really was. Mm. Then when, when Henry said he, he needed somebody to do yard work, I was like, okay. <laughs> you know, I, why not stay here? until I figured out where I wanted to go. It kind of gave me a reason to care again. I owe them. I had a similar situation too. Although honestly, in my case, I had a really good home life and everything else. I guess I was just a punk. <laughs> No. My folks couldn't get me to straighten out. They wanted me to go to college and all that, but I was distracted. So my parents told me I had to get a job and Henry needed some help. He kicked my ass into shape. He will do that. He really did kick me in the ass once or twice for mouthing off. I would yell, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is before I realized there were labor laws, you know? Yeah. Uh, Look at you now. I mean, you're like a financial analyst. You did well, man. Yeah, it worked out. I kind of wonder if something like that will ever happen to me. It will. Yeah, uh, I don't know, I, I don't get those kind of opportunities. I'm kind of stuck. I was stuck too, for a while. But what did you do to get out of it? I met Brianna. She was a strong, beautiful career woman. You know, I realized I had to get my life together. It's really nice. 
I wonder if I'll ever meet somebody like that. Definitely. Well, I wish they'd hurry the hell up. <laughs> hurry the hell up! Hurry up! <laughs> Come on already! Doing the dishes on your birthday. It's just a day like any other day. Mm -mm, no, Patricia. Nope. Let oh. me do them. <laughs> Actually, I would appreciate a break. What gets me the most is just how long you and Henry have known each other. <laughs> you met him while you were teaching, right? You have to go much further back than that. Henry and I were high school sweethearts. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that. <laughs> Makes it so much cuter. Yeah, he was the star football player. Mm. He never went on with the game. So, a happy marriage and a beautiful baby boy. A baby boy? <laughs> yeah, Chris. Oh, <laughs> I love Chris. I really do. But... Thank the Lord he is not my son. And you, you want a kid more than anything. <laughs> Do I seem that desperate? Or oh. is that your womanly intuition? <laughs> no. Um, Henry mentioned that you and Aiden were trying. I, uh, by trying, I, I don't mean to be rude or anything, you know. It's okay. No. We both know. I'm the reason why we can't have kids, so. Buddy? Oh. Hey, come here. You gotta hear Chris's story. It is, it okay. is hysterical. Okay. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Excuse me. You do, come here. You always prefer to observe the fun rather than be part of it. I am part of it. I'm sorry if I ruffled some feathers earlier. You know I can be a fool. You always preferred to be a fool. I deserve that. <laughs> Remember what you yelled at me in front of my entire high school class? Oh God, yes. <laughs> I was running down the hallway late for my afternoon dance class mm -hmm. and I see this little man yeah. in a wool suit screaming at his terrified high school history class mm -hmm. about geopolitical relationships. I crack the door open and I yell, Put a Put fork in it, old man! Oh, God. I didn't expect for the whole class to cheer. Well, they were waiting to stick it to me ever since they got their midterm grades back, you know. Whenever you want to come back out of retirement, this old man will still be there yelling at his terrified students. <sighs> so here we are. Another year, more wrinkles. Here we are. It's good to see you. It's been too long. I don't know why it had to be so long. Well, you know, Henry and... Henry made it more difficult for us to see each other. Well, he did invite you here tonight. Here's hoping we get to see more of each other like we used to. Yeah, we better do it soon, because who knows how many birthdays we've got left. <laughs> Excuse me, miss. Can I have this dance? What do you mean? You know I can't dance. Honey, I, I, I didn't mean to. I, I'm going to make it an early night. Thank you all for being here.
Yeah, you better head off off the bed. We have to get there early tomorrow morning. I was hoping you'd say another goodbye to Patricia. You heard her. Yes. But maybe you could tell her. Julian, have a good night. Tell her happy birthday, but between you and me, I'm not sure how happy it was. in the Los Angeles area has been made tremendously difficult by the effects of the rogue nuclear weapon detonated just seven days ago. Special teams have been brought in. However, many other personnel available have limited training in an event of a nuclear attack. We are many miles from ground zero now, and it's actually impossible for the responders to get any closer without taking a massive risk themselves. Authorities are issuing continuous announcements via multiple radio and television channels. If there are any remaining residents in the Los Angeles area, evacuate immediately. I'm sorry. You know, I'm normally up to help with Don't breakfast. Don't worry about it. Just enjoy your breakfast. Thanks a lot. Oh, I feel like a bum. <laughs> oh, I love you. You rock. You know what? When I'm rich and famous for something stupid I do on the internet that goes viral, I'm going to buy us someone full time that takes care of all of this stuff for us. Let's do it. It's gonna be sick, right? Sick? As in bad? No, oh, sick. As in like awesome? That's strange. Hey, can I ask you a question? Yes, anything. What's your earliest memory? What do you ask that? I don't know. I mean, with it being your birthday and all, I don't know, I just realized I just realized that uh, I don't really remember any of my birthdays from when I was a kid, you know? I, I, I don't really remember much of anything. So, <laughs> what is it? Tell me. Okay, let me think. I remember one time, it must have been about six or so, I was looking up, standing between my parents, each of them holding one of my hands. My dad had taken off from work that day um, 
to have a picnic with me and my mother. It was a beautiful afternoon, and we went down to the water to feed these baby ducks. I think, I think it's so vivid to me because they seemed so happy together. After that, they started to drift apart. So it was, it was a happy memory then. Yeah. Huh? And so simple. You know, it's amazing that after all the complex and difficult times in my life, that such a simple memory should be so meaningful and so vivid. You know, you should ask Henry. He has many more childhood memories than I do. You know, I'm, I'm just some jackass that lives here, but I don't know. I, I don't think Henry meant anything by what he said, like last night. Henry doesn't mean a lot of things. Again, you know, none of my business. But you know, he, he tries. He tries, but I don't think you let him in. You're up early. You gotta get caught, Chris. Sure. Can't be late to chit chat with his favorite lady. Oh, Mrs. Davidson. <laughs> you know, she's a real bitch. I know. How you feeling? Oh. Okay. That's good. You know, you are not a morning person. Now I got your attention. You're, you're like this bizarre man-child I never signed up to have. Oh, you love it! <laughs> hey, Henry. Yes? Do you think that maybe one of these days we could just drive past Mrs. Davidson's and, and just keep going? Oh, come on, Chris. She's not a bad woman. She, she has some very interesting stories. Her stories aren't what's interesting about her. She has so many other hidden talents. Oh, she's not bad. Actually, you know what I admire most about her? Oh, it's that... that tone, a voice that she uses when, when she's calling my name. It's just so uh, high-pitched. Christopher. Christopher! Come here, Christopher! Okay, okay. <laughs> she kind of does sound like that. <laughs> right? Yeah. <sighs> well, Henry, I want you to know I had a really, really fun time last night. You, you did a great job pulling it all together, getting everyone there. Yeah. You think that um, maybe you should, I don't know, to try to talk to Patricia again? You know, put it behind you. Yeah, I will. Man, being married is hard work, huh? <laughs> I'm exhausted just watching you guys. Well, when you've been doing it for so long, I don't know. Well, on a lighter note, I was just going to turn the radio on. I know you love that dance music I listen to. It all sounds the same to me. What? What? You know, I'm letting you out at the next light. Christopher! Yes, Mrs. Davidson! Hurry up, Christopher. You should be getting it finished up soon, right? Yes, ma'am. I have a one o'clock salon appointment. Oh, even the salon can't help you now. I'll be out to help you in a minute, Chris. Let's speed it up today, okay? 
This is why I'm paying you by the hour. You're not paying us by the hour, you wicked bitch. Okay, thanks, ma'am. This message is transmitted at the request of the United States Office of Civil Defense. This is an emergency broadcast. A general evacuation of the New York metropolitan area is being put in effect due to the serious possibility of a nuclear missile attack to this zone. Residents in these areas must protect Henry. themselves from both Henry. the impact of an attack and nuclear fall. This is an emergency. Evacuation of the New York metropolitan area is being put in effect due to the serious possibility of a nuclear missile attack to this zone. Residents in these areas must protect themselves from both the immediate impact of an attack. Nuclear fallout is a product of nuclear missile attacks. By well, now she's probably taking her pain medication. She's gonna really be wiped out. But don't we have to go, like, now? The earliest we could possibly leave would be tomorrow morning. I don't know. This is crazy. Come on. Okay, what took so long? It's a long story. Okay, well, maybe you can uh, help me finish packing. I think we should get on the road as soon as possible. Where are we going? Kara's. Kara? Yeah, my cousin Kara, already called No, her. I know who she is, Aiden. It's just that it's so far away. Hours. That's the point. We have to get as far away from here as possible. I already gathered most of the stuff I think we'll need. I even stopped at the store, picked up some food, water. So that's it? What do you mean? You honestly think we should leave? Are you kidding? Of course. Aiden, listen, how could you possibly think that this is a good idea? I have no idea what's a good idea. I'm simply trying to do the best I can. And you think this is it? Really? Brianna. <sighs> they know something. We can't just pretend like everything is still normal. And what about what I think? What are you saying? You don't want to go? No. Are you serious? Can't you see what is happening? Yes, I can see what's happening out there. Aiden, you expect me to leave our home where we are safe and go out there into that madness? Yes, yes, if we need to. Listen, it was nice of Claire to come and get me, but we almost got killed three different times on our way back here. People are freaking the hell out. I know. I'm sorry. Listen, I don't know what this means either. But I think that if we leave in a hurry, it might be more dangerous than just staying here and seeing how we can be more smart about it. How can we believe anything that they say now anyway? None of this makes sense. If you have family or friends that live beyond the affected area, it is recommended that you coordinate with them and evacuate to their shelters. 
there will be checkpoints on major highways where supplies will be available. We have been told by Civil Defense that survival bags are necessary to have. Members of your family or your evacuation group should have multiple survival bags, which allow easy mobility. Items such as food, Hey, I guess you heard. This has gotten real bad, real fast. I guess Julian had a point after all. You want me to put some stuff together to leave? You know, while I was sitting here, all torn up, I thought about the day you asked Daddy to marry me. What? What are you talking about? You were very sweet, and you were wearing that terrible orange sweater. Mom came in, and she said, a large orange traffic cone asked your dad to marry you. And I said, Mom, I love that traffic cone. I'm going to marry him. And then Dad came in, and he said, you need to marry someone with a profession. And I said, Dad, I am sitting right here in this living room, in this chair, and I am not going to say a word to you until you say yes. What is your point? I'm not leaving. I'm not going anywhere. But this is different. I know. This could get you killed, us killed. We're, we're too close to the city. I know that. We can't survive the effects of what they say could happen, let alone the radiation effects. Be sensible. I won't go. Water, radio, batteries, battery power, I won't go. mandatory items for your survival kit. Having duplicate items that you can all have in your survival kits is an essential step to evacuation preparedness. For example, multiple toothbrushes. Make sure your battery-powered radio is tuned to a station where you can hear news and further instructions for the ongoing situation. We've been told by Civil Defense that survival bags are very necessary to have. What are we going to tell Chris? Members of your family or your evacuation group should have multiple survival bags. Hey, you guys. So look, I would normally be bringing you a rant about something that, uh, that pisses me off or something like that. You know, me just being like a general asshole. But I, I can't fall asleep. So this one, this one is gonna be a little different. A more serious video. I, I really can't find a lot to laugh about right now. And actually, I'm... I'm kind of scared. I'm not really up on what's happening in the world. I, I don't know if you guys have seen in my earlier videos, but I, I'm not really, like, up on current events or, or whatever's happening in the world. But I, I just know. I, know. I know something really, really bad is happening right now. And I just wanted to let you guys know, you know, all, all 10 of you out there that subscribe to my channel, thanks. <laughs> I just want you to know, I'm really sorry if my country hates your country and all that. I mean, if it was up to me, if it was up to me, I would really just try to get along with you guys. You know, I'm, I'm talking more than I, I really wanted to. <laughs> so look, listen. I just want to say that I may not be posting a video for some time now. But for all you people out there that have watched my videos, thanks. It means a lot to me. So, uh, I'll see you later, my friends. Aiden? 
Aiden. Aiden? fought the whole war all by yourself last night. Approximately one minute after impact, Sheltering in place is not advisable because your survival will not be ensured. Hey, burnt something, huh? Damn it. Oh, look, don't worry about me. I'm not really that hungry for once. Actually, I'm feeling kind of sick. Chris, we have to talk. Have you been watching the news? Honestly, no. Why not? Remember I told you it was important? I don't like seeing all that bad stuff. Do you remember when you asked me to help you study some things? And Julian loaned you those books? Yeah. The situation we're in now We've been in situations like it, but the way this has developed, our country has never been here before. The LA bomb threw us all out of whack. And now, now they're scared. And they're making things worse, much worse. You can't fight nuclear without nuclear. It kind of levels the playing field. I really, I really don't feel like I still get it, you know? It's, it's very complicated. But, but then shouldn't we just pack up all of our stuff and, and go before something happens in New York? I keep hearing the, the same message over and over and over again. Eh, eh, eh. I can't sleep and I, I'm, I'm getting kind of scared. Chris, listen to me. We want you to take the keys to the car Take some clothes and some food and go. Okay. What about you guys? What are you gonna do? Henry and I are staying here. Wait. You want me to go by myself? This is no place for you in, in, in a situation like this. You can go and stay with Henry's sister in Missouri. She, she'll take you in. She's a nice woman. I can't do that. I can't do that. And what about you guys? I mean, who's going to take care of you? It's not that simple. You can't do that. You can't ask me to do that. Oh. See what I mean? I don't know. It's not just the blast radius. It's the radiation sickness. Vomiting, convulsions, internal bleeding, hair loss. There's just so many unknowns to this. Look, this is a list of the 15 major national planning scenarios. Major events that could happen. Scenarios that most 
threaten the United States. Look, look at number one. Nuclear detonation. Mm -hmm. This even talks about a rogue nuclear weapon detonated by a terrorist group. Oh, shit. This thing talks about evacuation versus shelter in place. The reasons why the, the lack of medical attention available for those in the affected area. I mean, so far, the only way to survive in the short term is to leave. Get the hell away as far as possible, then deal with the rest later. I finally got in touch with my sister. Yeah? She left the city. Good. No, Aiden, good, but she said that one of her friends was robbed at gunpoint. That people are, are stealing and murdering and, and breaking into people's houses. I'm not surprised. The worst in people comes out when they're afraid. I fear. More than anything. Is leaving. Why? Going into all of that. Those desperate people. I know it's scary, but it's better than staying here. I don't think we should go. I used to think that this would all just blow over, that it was just today's headline. I don't think we have a choice anymore. I need to, I need to lay down for a second. It's just, it's too much. Aiden, it's just, it's too much. Uh, you remember that first house? Oh, I think about it all the time. And that wacky neighbor with the 17 cats? Yeah, <laughs> and that damn sink. Uh, I, <laughs> I remember the first time I brought you there. <laughs> I think I still have the bruise from when you slammed my head carrying me over the threshold. Oh, how romantic of me. <laughs> oh, you were always a smooth operator. Uh, one could say I have a certain swagger. Certainly not what my mother said. C can you imagine if your mother could see us now? Oh, she'd find something to be disappointed in in both of us. For what? I don't know, she probably couldn't find a thing, so she'd make something up just to spite me. <laughs> you always had the better parents. Well, they tried real, real hard. You know, I sometimes think that the reason you are so helpful to these young people like Aiden and Chris is because they remind you of yourself when you were a young man. Yeah, well, I guess I was a real streety, tough guy. Oh, you were streety, all right. I guess you're right. You know, as I've gotten older, I come face to face with the younger version of myself more and more often. And I sit, and I really think about what kind of man I was. I was a menace. I guess the question is, is this. If you, as you are today, were put face to face with yourself in the past, would you help yourself? Would, would you lend a hand? Or would you walk away because you're not mature enough to handle yourself yet? I would help myself. Yeah? Yeah. I also think I would tell myself not to go out with Larry in my freshman year. <laughs> uh, time seems so simple then, huh? Maybe they just seemed that way because we were too young to see the whole picture. Or maybe we're just living in much darker times now. Yeah. Either way, the world has gone mad. Completely bonkers. <laughs> you know, 
you live your whole life with a certain value, a certain viewpoint, that things are, are a certain way, that they won't change, <laughs> that it's too late, it's set. And suddenly the whole world is upside down. Well, as far as I'm concerned, the world can go any which way it wants, so long as we're together. Evacuation efforts have been massive and challenging in these areas. Alerting the public, distributing informational pamphlets, and providing traffic and access control have been just some of the challenges facing these communities. We've been told by civil defense that survival. Hey, Henry? Hey, Aiden. You guys didn't leave? No. All of our neighbors are gone. I just walked up the block. Listen, I've been reading up about this stuff. I mean, as much as I can. This is the real deal. Yeah, I know. Henry, you and Patricia need to evacuate. They know something we don't. Listen, I've tried it all. She doesn't want to go? No, she doesn't. Hold. The doorbell just rang. Hold. On. I was hoping to speak to Patricia before I left. Uh, you're evacuating? Aren't you? She's in the back. Thank you. Yeah, listen, uh... Julian! Don't get up, don't. It's fine. To what do I owe this great honor? Well, twice in one week, I thought maybe that was a little too much of me. You know, that could never happen. I just wanted to get a sense of what you're doing about where you'll be heading once you evacuate. I'm not leaving. You have to. <laughs> Don't start, Julian. You know I'm not well enough to go anyplace. That's not true. Hey, I'm just an old lady who can't walk. Don't lie to me about that. About what? This is not about your leg, this is about you. I don't know what you mean. It's about you. You think you can just will everything to be exactly the way you think it should be. Well, I'm afraid the whole world is against you on this one. You have no right to come into my house and say that. I have every right. Oh, so we should all bow down to Julian with his superior wisdom and intellect. I know you, and I know what you're doing. You think you would just stay here and be okay? Well, you think this is just, what, a scare? No, that's not true. All right, no, it's even worse than that. You think you're stronger than this. I implore you to try to understand that you have vastly underestimated the levels of stupidity in the governments of this world. Don't tell me what I'm thinking. You don't know what I'm thinking. I have a very good hunch. I am not going to leave my home and my life in fear. If they want to take my home and my life, they're going to have to take me too. I don't care about going on someplace else. <laughs> That's just it. You don't care about going on. This house has a lot of memories for me, both happy and sad. If I should die. I choose to die here, not in some strange place that has no meaning for me. You never did listen to anything except your own heart. I've loved you for that. Yeah, yeah, I know. 
what you mean. Yeah. L listen, uh, I gotta hang out. Now. Well, boy, if you can't get through to her, then, jeez. I'm just saying. You know that that woman has gotten the better of both of us. It's ridiculous. Yeah, maybe. I thought she'd understand. When she believes in something so much like that, you know, we argue. She just shuts down, stops talking to me. I always thought you guys could talk about anything. No, not really, no. I'd be lying if I said it, that it didn't bother me. It always bothered me. <laughs> you, you sort of seem to have this thing, though, that I never did. The, whether it be the finesse or the sensitivity, I'm bad with all that stuff. She never really cared about that stuff. I mean, would you, the brave soldier or the draft dodger, the man who talks about what should be done and the man who does it? So here you are again. You soldier on in a battle you cannot possibly win. I don't have much of a choice, huh? <laughs> yeah. I'd say that woman has gotten the best of us. You know how you can tell when Chris is really upset? How? He stops eating. I mean, eating is all he does. Look at that. That's funny. We shouldn't be laughing. I swear that Chris is a funny guy. <laughs> Maybe we should go check on him. No, he'll be fine. You know, the two of you have developed such a nice bond. Maybe you should talk to him. I don't know. He really looks up to you. He, most of the time, and I talk to him, I lose my patience. He really doesn't understand a lot of what I'm saying. He just needs to have things slowed down a bit for him. That's why you have to do it. I didn't expect him to get so upset when I, I talked to him before. I understand why. You do? Well, this was the only home you ever had. Can you imagine if somebody asked you to leave? Should I get you a blanket? No. You're so cute. <laughs> I just thought I should ask. How did I get so lucky? I don't know. Uh-oh. What's that? You revealed my superhero identity. Ooh. <laughs> Maybe you can fly around the world. Fix everything. Yeah. Maybe. Don't fly away yet. No.
have some breaking news. It appears that a nuclear missile was launched and has struck the center of London. It is hard for us to tell you the extent of the damage or the lives lost. But I can tell you this, over two million people have been killed and over three million more injured. We understand that the entire city center of London has been consumed by a nuclear fireball. Henry! Henry, come here! I was just handed this. We have just been given some amateur photos from Wayford, Hayes, and Epson, which are approximately... What the hell is going on? Outside of the strike zone. This means we're going to have to retaliate. Come to their defense. This is the beginning of the end. Like this is a bad dream. Hmm? I feel like any second I can wake up, I'll roll over and see your pretty face. No, it was all in my head. How does that sound? Huh? Baby, we need to leave. Our nation is going to strike back, and then after that... Here I was, planning our date night, our vacation, everything that I ever cared about. It seems so pointless now. Doesn't it? You know what gets me most? When the doctor said I couldn't have children with you. I felt so worthless. Don't say that. I felt like I let you down. That is, that is not true at all. But you know what? The last week or so, I've been questioning so much. When you bring a child into the world, you want them to live a long, happy life. <laughs> that may not be possible anymore. We don't know what's possible. Come on. Come on. We need to leave. Let's get there. Come on. I guess you still think I'm crazy for wanting to stay. At first, I thought you were really crazy. I guess I am. No. Then I figured out the way you see things. This is our home. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Those poor people. So many dead. God, isn't it terrible? And it can happen so quickly. It really is overwhelming. Ladies and gentlemen, more videos God, this is just wild. You know, there is no other way to describe the you never told me anything about when you were in combat and what that was like for you. Maybe I never asked. Would you tell me a little bit about it? It was a long time ago. Please tell me. I don't know. How, how did you deal with so much chaos and death and violence? When, when I was over there, all I could think about was dying. 
constantly. Right now, this feels like the same thing. You're looking over your shoulder for the bullet to come. You, you, you can't relax because the bullet can come at any time. You can't relax for a second. It's a terrible thought. A terrible feeling. That's why you have to get through to Chris. This changes everything. to talk. I like what you've done with the place. I thought there would be more toys. I hid them under the bed. Listen, Chris, we have to talk. Have you seen what's happened? Yeah. You have to listen to us, Chris. Look, when I was a kid, I didn't have anybody. And then I met you guys. You really changed my life. And I need you guys. I, I, I can't imagine going out there on my own. And with everything that's going on right now, I mean, you guys understand everything a lot more than I do. But what if I make a mistake or something? There's no way you're gonna make a mistake. You'll have the address, the phone number, and you can always call if you get lost. But I don't want to leave you guys. Oh. Chris, can I tell you a secret? I'm terrified too. I know that I look like I have it all together. You know, but that's me. Terrified Patricia. I always look like I know what I want. I never told you how I got this injury, did I? No, no, you didn't. Okay. It was a long time ago when Henry and I were living in the old house. Henry decided to rebuild the deck and the steps leading up to it. He was so excited. He kept saying, I can't wait till you see it finished. I can't wait. I mean, there he was, my big hero, the handyman. And he was so proud. So one day, an old army buddy of his comes by and wants him to come out with him for a quick beer. Henry figures, why not? So I come home from work. I go out to call him. Henry? Henry? And suddenly, I'm falling. My body slams into the ground. Henry had forgotten to screw in one step. And so there I am. I have a fractured spine. I can't teach dance anymore. Worse, I can't even dance myself. I never was able to forgive Henry. I should have been able to get past it, but I couldn't. Until you came along. And you changed everything. You changed my relationship with Henry. Suddenly, quiet nights became nights filled with laughter and 
conversation. You see, you are a blessing. And that's why you have to leave. I know you think that you can't do anything right and that you're different than other people. But Chris, Chris, you changed my life. You see, you do have something to offer. This can be a new life for you. Yes. Chris, this has everything I think you'll need. Directions, registration, keys. And some money. <sighs> you guys didn't need to do that. No, but we did anyway. <laughs> What can I possibly say to you guys? I love you. Look at me, big guy. Hit the road. Just keep driving and don't stop. Hey, kid. I told her I just had to stop by quickly. I guess this is a goodbye for now. Yeah, for now. Chris. Come with us. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah! I will! You think he'll annoy them too? Absolutely. He's probably trying to play his dance music right now. <laughs> I'm glad Chris didn't take the car. Why not? I don't think he can drive. Oh boy, I'm glad you didn't tell him that. <laughs> <laughs> Just in. The president, vice president, and their families have been evacuated. Most congressmen and senators have already departed to their home states to further assist their constituents. Evacuations around the United States have grown much more chaotic with the residents seeking safety. The United States has launched a limited nuclear assault on the aggressors in order to attempt to stalemate the situation. I am sad to say that this is a very dark day in our nation's history. We find ourselves facing our greatest threat. We are urging all of our viewership that there is limited time to evacuate. Please leave now and God be with you.
at 12.40 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, NORAD detected long-range nuclear missiles launched. These missiles are believed to be headed toward the New York metropolitan area, Washington, Chicago. They will impact these target areas imminently. Take shelter and prepare for impact. Make sure your inner refuge is secure. Attack in progress. Attack in progress. Attack in progress. <sighs> Honey, you shouldn't be doing that. Oh, God. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. I'll take care of it. Come on. Here. No. Here. Why don't you have a seat, okay? Just sit down for a while, all right? Okay. Take your time. Take your time. All right, it's all right. You're the only woman I know that would try to do the dishes at a time like this. What else is there to do? Plenty. <sighs> I, uh, I heard the story you might like to hear. It was, a, it was a hot summer, and, and there was this young man who lived in this cramped railroad apartment. This, this cramped railroad apartment with his parents. And he worked at an automobile factory in the daytime, but at night. <laughs> Have you heard this before? Yeah, at night, he dreamed about being at the beach with a blonde so beautiful that she made all the other gals at the beach look like farm animals in bikinis. You take her by the hand and take her down through the ocean and wait. Wait for the sun to set wait for the sunset to hit her hair and make it shine and glow and then he would just stare at her in awe nobody ever looked at me the way you did the way i did patricia i still do yes you still do and it's something i've always loved about you that you still do we were lucky to have those moments together. Very lucky. <laughs> <laughs>